Hi everyone, so this week we are looking at the story of the Lighthouse Keeper's Lunch. Now what I would like you to do is before you watch this video, I would like you to watch the link that we have sent on Purple Mash of the video, okay, on YouTube. So if you find that on Purple Mash first and then watch the video, and then I'm going to be asking you some questions on it, so please watch carefully. So if you haven't already watched it, please stop the video now and then you may uh, continue. So everyone, you should have watched the video now on the Lighthouse Keeper's Lunch and I really hope that you were paying attention because now I've got some questions to answer, for you to answer. Now you can either find the sheet that I've put on Purple Mash for you to write your answers on as I read the questions to you or you can just write your answers straight onto a piece of paper. But please remember, upload your work onto Purple Mash as well so that we can have a little look and we can check your answers please. So, the first question I'm going to ask you was, where was Mr and Mrs Grinling's little white cottage? Have a little think and either write your answer down or tell a grown-up. Next question. Which word describes Mr Grinling as a hard worker? Question number three, why do the ships have to toot at night? So why do they have to make that noise? Have a little think and if you need to, you can always re-watch the video as well and find the bit that I'm talking about and then write your answer down. Question number four, describe one of the plans that didn't work. And question five links to that because question five is which plan actually stopped the seagulls from eating Mr Grinling's lunch? So which of the plans actually worked? Have a little think, you might, a grown up at home might be able to help you with this or you can pause the video and re-watch the video on YouTube. Next question. What food did Mrs. Grinling make for her husband's lunch? Watch the video again if you need to. Next question. How did the captains of the ship show that they were grateful to Mr. Grinling? So what did the captains do to show that they were really thankful for what he did? Question number nine. What might happen if Mr. Grinling had not tended to the lighthouse? So that means, what would have happened if Mr. Grinling wouldn't have been there to look, look after the lighthouse in the first place? What might have happened to the ships and the captains of the ships and the people on the ships as well? Now, well done. I hope you really listened to those, those uh, questions carefully. Um, if there are any that you have missed out, remember I have uploaded the sheets onto Purple Mash for you. So you can have a little look on Purple Mash and get a grown up to read your questions back. After you've finished your sheet, please upload your, uh, your work onto Purple Mash so that grown ups can see and we can give it a little mark. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye.